Hi, hello and namaste. I'm Yugen Thamang and welcome to this very brand new show on Sikkim Chronicle that is the startup show which is a proud presentation of AIC SMU TBI that is an Atal Incubation Center, a Sikkim Manipal University a Technology Business Incubation Foundation which is situated at, in fact located at Mahajichar nearby Rampur. Ra, your show ma hami particularly jati pani AIC SMU TBI jinsa incubation center raha eksha. This ko under ma bhaeko jati pani incubators ha sang hami wahaar ko story, wahaar ko journey, ra wahaar ko jati pani venture related jati pani aspects eru sa teo tapir ko agari hami leo ne kaam gadi raha ne chau. Ki na te teo AIC SMU TBI ko under ma incubators eru jati pani cha wahaar ko story ki na hami yo platform ma lehra eko chau bhanda kiri. Tapir hala inspiration, motivation di na matra hai na. But to also understand jati pani incubators from Sikkim and the neighboring regions and from the northeastern India and as well as Pan India because there are startups that are AIC, SMU, TBI and incubate on the other side. There is a story that is coming from there. There are ventures like Dekhera, Katizana investors, Angel investors, venture capitalists. There is an interest that is coming from there. So, there is a startup that is coming from there. So, there is a startup that is coming from there. Which is the presentation of AIC, SMU, TBI. We are coming from there. In this program, we have a promising, very gorgeous and award-winning entrepreneur that is coming from there. We are coming from there. We are coming from there. तब तक आगे ले आ रहा है मैं आज आपको ये एपिसोड ले स्टार्ट करने लगी रहेंगे। The award-winning entrepreneur को उन्होंने उनसा बंद कर दिया है। वहाँ एक बड़ा promising woman entrepreneur from Sikkim उन्होंने उनसा। रहा वहाँ को venture को नाम अथवा startup को नाम रहा है कुछ आ Luxel Studio और Cash Collective। दो ही चार ventures in fact। रहा जून से ये ventures रहा कुछ आ Luxel Studio और Cash Collective। ती दो ही चार startup से एकदम ये sustainable lifestyle product में ती focus करके startup हो। रहा इसका founder उन्होंने उनसा once again award-winning entrepreneur जस्टले विभिन्न grants है already crack गरी सकने बाया था। रहा एकदम ये डांग रहा sustainable प्रकार ले आपने products ले market में राखी रन बाया था। Ladies and gentlemen, presenting to you the founder of the two startups based in Sikkim, uh, Luxel Studio, and of course Cash Collective. The founder herself is like Chimi Butia. Uh, so, Chimi, welcome to the startup show. Thank you for having me here. Uh, so let's talk about your startup. Right? Initially, I am talking about startup. Let us have a conversation. Go ahead. So, my only point is that our viewers, like you, own two startups. One is Luxa Studio, and the other one is the Cash Collective, which is basically uh, focused on the sustainable lifestyle products. And my only is that if any topic you idea have, topic of studio, man, how that if any products are there, that you bamboo based products are there, that you are sure. I am sure other products are there. Topic. So let's talk about your startup first. Yeah. The my startup idea of my startup is mm -hmm. we are looking to contribute more sustainable future mm -hmm. uh, to running a profitable business like environmentally conscious by the mm -hmm. then whole like uh, the, it's a whole long some package of like mm -hmm. the how to be a sustainable and the environmental conscious mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and we are uh, like reducing your carbon footprint by you. Mm -hmm. And our product, whatever we are making, whether it's a product or services, whatever we are doing, we are very this thing, you know, balancing or we are not overuse our natural resources, mm -hmm. which any the for uh, like preserve for our a uh, future generation. That mm -hmm. is our main focus. Yeah. And my ideas revolve around only one product. Mm -hmm. That is a bamboo. We mm -hmm. call it a green gold also. Mm -hmm. And why bamboo? Bamboo is one uh, like this thing, you know. One uh, plant base. Mm -hmm. This is a more sustainable alternative for mm -hmm. a present uh, like mm -hmm. days right Absolutely. now. Like when you call the bamboo, and the um, like especially when you talk about the bamboo, there are so many like here people when you talk about the bamboo, they always talk about this thing, a consumer product, handicrafts. Mm -hmm. People are not aware of this 
true potential of this mm-hmm. thing, mm-hmm. the bamboo coat. There's immense engineering, there's huge use for especially like industrial raw material, like mm-hmm. more in a high end rather than just when we talk about like handicrafts and it's mm-hmm. not like that. Industrial raw material, we are not exploring right now. So mm-hmm. we are in this stage, right? We are exploring it's more for a mm-hmm. bamboo coat. What we can do and mm-hmm. especially like when you talk about the bamboo is a one this kind of a thing you know and like 15 1500 mm-hmm. appli- recorded application mm-hmm. in india only mm-hmm. that titi basi like see the versatility of this product this mm-hmm. bamboo, bamboo thing, yeah. you know almost 1500 little uses mm-hmm. every day we are using it okay that is like a great mm-hmm. uh, something it's very we haven't explored like yeah. and the, when you talk about like bamboo jay hamro india ma'am <clears throat> mm-hmm. india bamboo like in a world coast scenario india got that 30 percent of a bamboo resource junche chan it's located in india okay so we are haven't used it mm-hmm. and uh, however the still the people like uh, 50% of like we are imported from outside okay. for our consumption. Mm-hmm. See the scenario, we already have a 30%, still we are imported 50%. Mm-hmm. So there's a, some lots of things, you know, hmm, uh, what you call it, there's some, the law is there, like policies are not... Yeah. Uh, we need uh, to work on that. Yeah, then. because... Uh, that we already have this much of bamboo, but still we There's cannot use it. Yeah. yeah, we cannot use it. Mm-hmm. we have, we have like. Okay. Uh, so we'll talk. Can... Yeah, we'll talk about the challenges, mm-hmm. Jimmy. But let uh, let me tell our viewers that your entire conversation is bilingual. My God, bilingual. We are speaking Nepali and English as well because we want this interview to also reach out to the potential people who are who might be interested to you know uh, put a lot of investment to support our startups anyway so to me like uh, you have as you said kita because the products are bamboo based products right so sikkim is rich in the resources you know and plus india mapani resources make them rich there's a lot of demands from outside as well so we need to more explore that but before going to that uh, when which year did you start you know laxal and which year did you start cash collective so uh, this Laxila started initially when I back from the designing college. Like I'm more my background is a designing, mm-hmm. so I'm more into fashion this thing. Mm-hmm. But when I came back home, so I feel like okay, this is something that I'm more interested because I uh, since from childhood I'm very interested in more sustainability lifestyle, you mm-hmm, know, eco-friendly mm-hmm. products. So mm-hmm. even the fashion, like when you talk about the apparel, so I always thought of like doing something very like natural dye and those things. You know? Okay. So when I just do some research, like I have in panel with uh, this DC Handicraft, mm-hmm. there I made a base of all the artisans, you know. Okay. I worked more than 600, 700 artisans all over the Northeast. Okay. So that is my, this thing, you know, initial, what mm-hmm. you call push up kind of thing, you know. Okay. So then I later like Luxel, like uh, design studio, I opened like, it's like 2015, around 2015, mm-hmm. and this cash collective, it's we found in the 2000, uh, end of 2018 okay. or 19, we registered in 19, mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. that in between that pandemic things happened, okay. that is mm-hmm. a bit... Okay. Sad part. Well, that's the sad part. Everyone has suffered through that. Yeah. But, still, <laughs> but still, congratulations, you have mm-hmm. survived that. And so, okay, now talking about since your startup is a bootstrap, you know, you did everything with your own money. And I'm sure your family might be supporting that. So what about the investors or the investment? Are you really looking for that? The investor, like, see, I'm a kind of person, you know, I, I, I like challenges, you know. I mm-hmm. always wanted to do something new thing, you know. Mm-hmm. I get bored easily when mm-hmm. things are very Not regular here. kind okay. of thing, you know. Mm-hmm. So I always looking something. So for a scale up, see that when you talk about this bamboo thing, you know, mm-hmm. everything, whatever I do, everything related to uh, all around bamboo only. Mm-hmm. So bamboo already I had talked to you about this thing, that 30% like mm-hmm. bamboo is a world like it's here mm-hmm. in India. Mm-hmm. But still we are imported 50% bamboo. Mm-hmm. So that is like chap. Like see the whatever like import like fifty percent mostly from China only, mm-hmm. and the China ko junche boyu chhata bego, like uh, bamboo ko resource it's just the fourteen percent in the world wide. Right? Okay. Imagine. Imagine. Yeah. So we are not using our true potential. Mm-hmm. 
so i'm just more focused on the like the thing not like me only the people like me lots of people are there mm-hmm. so so we wanted to utilize this explore more about the bamboo mm-hmm. and whereas you talk about our place or mm-hmm. sikkim banu na sikkim ko there's a one this thing the we have like maybe like 40 40 to 50 percent of bamboo junche cha hamro resource everything in like reserve forest ma cha mm-hmm. the we can't okay. utilize <clears throat> okay. and the thank god there are some changes in the indian policy mm-hmm. of forest ko it's like 17 or something before the bamboo is it's in a plant mm-hmm. it's a tree mm-hmm. we can't cut it down that mm-hmm. there's so much law in this thing mm-hmm. you know the okay. formalities and all now they consider as a bamboo as a grass okay the grass ko junje cha and the bamboo ko junje grass are now e- easy to access okay so i hope like our government our policy makers who server this mm-hmm. consider a little bit about this how do we can ex- extract the bamboo from forest mm-hmm. so it very helpful for us people like us and top of that we can give a revenue we, the government can generate revenue Absolutely. from that also rather mm-hmm. than so mm-hmm. bamboo ko junje a uh, period uh, it's mm-hmm. just like 3 f- to 4 years okay so after that it's useless okay so it's a regrow I mean, yeah absolutely it decomposes yeah, yeah yeah that is a good for government also mm-hmm. to g- generate the forest department so hopefully it will they will make some easy for yeah, we, we spoke about the policy that's the challenges but mm-hmm. like what about the investment that is what i wanted to know okay, do you, sorry do you, i got do you, <laughs> i just you, missed do out you really like, look for investment yeah investor like just thing but that's why i'm saying i need to scale up Yeah. I need to scale but there's a huge demand and supply gap in India in a bamboo okay. especially bamboo sector ma take care of it be I wanted to scale up see mm-hmm. when we are like uh, buyers junja hamar b2b ba janja this to khali the buyers are asking for like 500 tons 600 ton per month wow. imagine okay. the how i'm going to fulfill that it's impossible Demand, for yeah. me to do that because i don't have a manpower machine mm-hmm. for that i need investor okay investor to i need a money to scale <laughs> up my business absolutely but i also apart from the investors is there any support from the any uh, government agencies for yeah, the startup gov- as yeah. well uh we right now we are working with this thing one like a small project with this nba national bamboo mission is there okay. so we walk we are working with them okay. so it's a great help at least for a like basic mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. initially stage mm-hmm. for we are in that label so we wanted to scale up okay so that's why we are looking for the investors or okay. anything like that so yeah so i'm sure if somebody is watching if the potential person individual is watching this interview yeah she is in dire need of investors uh, because like you know uh, for her to scale up she definitely needs a lot of financial support so i'm sure when we when she gets investors it's going to do wonderful tasks anyways congratulations because so far you have doing you have been doing good so we already have a prototype it's not that we have in the ideal stage mm-hmm. or something we already market our mm-hmm. product is already in the market mm-hmm. so it's very like who uh, say like invest like so ours is not a idea startup with this thing mm-hmm. uh, uh i uh, the startup so ours as product is already there in market we already have a customers we already have yeah. like clients and this thing yeah. so it's uh, like for an investor also it's a bit easy to risk their money i hopefully i'll just yeah no but i guess entrepreneurship is talk all about taking risk as well so i'm yeah. sure uh, only the potential investor would reach out to you <laughs> anyways before getting investors also but like so me as far as i know your products are already available in the market you are more focused on b2b rather than b2c and then i also know like you have already created your own units in the state so yeah you are a bootstrap but you have been doing wonderful tasks so far so where are the units in the state of sikkim that you have set up the unit we have like this thing we have leased out some land like mm-hmm. this in the commerce industry land so it's almost 11000 square feet mm-hmm. we are setting off like five units out there mm-hmm. so now it's almost two two units almost complete mm-hmm. by the end of uh, the uh, second quarter of this year uh, next year mm-hmm. so we are hoping to run full fledgedly mm-hmm. so that is like we slowly get it, getting okay. off like whole thing because a bit a bit delay because of covid thing happen otherwise mm-hmm. till now everything will be like it's, it's also available on the online platforms right it's yeah because we already have our this day our revenue model has 
like this is that we have a b2d we are more interested in b2b mm -hmm. if things are not working b2c also there mm -hmm. and this thing we have a, a, like channel partners are like this hospitality industries okay. and this pharma industries are there mm -hmm. so i'll talk about the my product like this yeah. thing so there's a, like this we have a channel but there's lots of like this uh, the blind of our revenue model how we can it, Generate our. Mm -hmm. Where is it available? Is it available in an exclusive website or it's our? No, we have like a, a, a website our own. This mm -hmm. wluxel. com. There we are more focused on like livelihood product. You know, okay. that interior like. If, but everything is eco friendly. Everything mm -hmm. is sustainable. Sustainable fa like fashion. Even the fashion, but the you know, fabric also. We are more focused on the sustainable fashion. Mm -hmm. Accessories are there and interiors are also like more sustainable interiors. when you talk okay. about you know, everything is like our idea just revolve around how we going to play with a one product a one material that is bamboo okay sounds good and interesting so uh now when we are talking about the not just sikkim but the entire north is so how do you see the industry the bamboo industry that you're talking about see but when you talk about like this uh, especially our northeast northeast has a huge potential in terms of bamboo Mm -hmm. because half of resources they this site only the bamboo then even the central government are more focus on this okay. immense step focus on the mm -hmm. especially in north is no yeah. only the we are not explore and we haven't done that research you know in mm -hmm. that way in that uh, scale ma to hami le we are just hoping that we have like so many like brilliant ideas you know okay. every day i came through okay this people are doing these the guys are doing you know meeting people like, that is something you know it gives we have a bright future no doubt about them mm -hmm. the north is will be the one leading like uh, when you talk about this entrepreneurial journey whatever mm -hmm. industry journey like mm -hmm. maybe you talk about after 5 years or 10 years down the line then our north is will be the different level mm -hmm. of Okay, and in North East, when we talk about Sikkim, Sikkim, when if the agencies would work on the bamboo production and everything, it's going to be a booming industry, right? This is what you trust me. This bamboo, like I already told you, because we haven't like explored its true potential. No, mm -hmm. we are not here. We are not talking about the handicraft of a bamboo. Mm -hmm. We are talking about the industrial raw material. Absolutely. There's so many. I don't want to reveal it right now. Yeah. Some people are walking yeah. on this thing. We also, me also, I'm walking. I just don't want to reveal the this thing. Mm -hmm. But we are talking about the industrial raw material. It's a huge. We are not talking of one CR project or two CR. We are talking about hundred, two hundred, three hundred CR project. That kind of potential we have. Only we need to do mm -hmm. research, and people okay. should trust us. that is mhm chimi so you already have your unit where you do a bamboo treatment right it's it's coming yeah. up so how many direct and indirect employment that you have given like so i'll just talk about my this thing you no know, one is like one like again this this is a interesting way when you talk about this bamboo mm -hmm. treated columns you know yeah. uh see i feel sad to see to see all the concrete jungle out here mhm and like when you talk as is more like a tourism based mm -hmm. state you know mm -hmm. people are come here to see the, all the scenic beauty and all those thing to aile ke bhako cha ni everything is concrete we are making house like concrete sab pe building 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 so mm -hmm. there's no beauty of uh, this thing no yeah. scenic jun che hamro pehla ko jun che thyo so what we are doing because our architect also they don't have option material yeah, wise yeah. only the this concrete yeah, and cement, cement that is yeah. which are this people also like now we are providing we are giving a material we are treating column whole bamboo column like 20 feet long mm -hmm. 23 feet long mm -hmm. the entire column you must be heard about this malaysian this bamboo house and all mm -hmm. no so they can build now the bamboo house out here because okay. we are giving material to them we are okay. treating it's fully bamboo. treated bamboo it's a fully treated and it's a durability of 60 years yeah. 70 years yeah it's a good work i, I liked it in fact like what she is telling is like you know see we, of course we need uh, buildings built with cement as well but she wants to encourage you know uh, people like if if we have an option we can also make houses made of bamboo yeah, especially yeah. when you talk about this homestay and all you know, that is something yeah. you can't imagine you see that this malaysian the south asia when mm -hmm. you talk about 
they have my goodness five stories five, uh, six stories all the bamboo structure yeah. you know that's good but we missed again how many employment okay <laughs> so like right now we have like almost 15 16 like this thing or mm -hmm. direct employment so we mm -hmm. have like at the artisan to we have like almost 200 artisans like okay. so you have been training them as well yeah we train them and we be empowering this people how to be a uh, like this thing you know इन्वायरमेंट कॉन्सियस भर कसरी बिजनेस कर यू सुन हार्म द कसरी हार्म नगरिकन हाउ यू गर्न यो लाइवलीहुड देर इज अ सीज यू नो बाय वेन यू टॉक अबाउट सस्टेनेबल यू नो द डुइंग गुड इट्स डुइंग गुड नट डुइंग वेल भाई वॉन्ट टू चेंज दैट कन्सेप्ट यू नो पीपल थिंक लाइक वेन यू टॉक अबाउट सस्टेन इट्स अ बोरिंग ओके बाई इट साउंड गुड बट यू आर नट डुइंग वेल Absolutely. So now we are changing the. When you see this thing, you know, past six, uh, six, seven years ago, when the pattern was changing, mm -hmm. consumers are more conscious about towards the sustainable product. People mm -hmm. are more conscious about the environment. And mm -hmm. me myself, if I go to <coughs> shopping mall or something like that, no, mm -hmm. if I wanted to buy, I'll check whole content. Okay, how many plastics this thing? How many mm -hmm. poly this thing? Because I don't want to. Uh, this you know the buying something which harm the environment also mm -hmm. the people like me also like now it's evolving you know mm -hmm. the uh, consumers are mm -hmm. more aware of mm -hmm. this is good somewhere Absolutely. you know it's no you are making me guilty because whenever i go to <laughs> shop should, i don't you really you like yeah. i i i i pull all the people who was there also who server watching this be please you when you buy you buy something please go yeah. through all the labels whatever you are yeah. just Yeah, but yeah, it's it's a fact. But like, uh, you can't be fully using all the like, at all, products. At but at all, least yeah. we can try to at yeah. least contribute back to I mean, yeah. the, the environment. Buy less something. You yeah. know, yeah. no more of plastic. That that is what Not, you want to say. No, no and more. I'm full to the environment. And it's great. Our chief minister, you know, recently announced for this one, like uh, plastic the, yeah. bottle. But totally, that is something. It's, we should appreciate his courage and mm -hmm. his uh, this mm -hmm. thing. You know, his vision. For the long term, because we want, he wanted to promote our Sikkim as a plastic-free state, mm -hmm. and for like people, like entrepreneurship is a this. We should be a problem solving. You know, mm -hmm. he gave some things that we should solve this problem. How we replace this plastic bottle instead of more eco-friendly? Okay, that is my next startup is there. Mm -hmm. So I'll be announcing soon, like how mm -hmm. we gotta do with this. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And which means we we will be wrapping up this conversation because uh, the startup show is basically all about highlighting this uh, your startup, you know, because through this show and letting people know about what you're doing in life. But before we conclude, uh, you have won a lot of grants and awards, you know. And as I introduce you as an award-winning entrepreneur, so what are the grants that you've won so far, and you know what are the accolades that you've won so far? So we have like this thing. I have lots of this thing. I don't want to reveal all this thing. It's mm -hmm. a like there's award and grant, seed grants, and mm -hmm. all this is more like a, more like a responsibility, you know, that you'll yeah. put pressure on you yeah. to do more better kind of uh -huh. thing. There's like Basundra. There's award is yeah. there. It's very good. Like you because it's more. You got women entrepreneur of women entrepreneur of the year. Oh. Yeah, nineteen uh, like seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Um, no, seventeen, eighteen. Yeah, okay. because. This is more focused on a woman entrepreneur only. Okay. This is, and there's a like recently we did like Naris Grant. You know mm -hmm. that is something. It's very good. It's a very big platform. Mm -hmm. And one more is that there's a BCR. I forgot like this. No, that's completely and, fine. Yeah. yeah, two, three. Like I forgot like this thing. And uh, I wanted to add more about this one, especially this AIC. You know, incubate. Yeah, that will be my next question. Like you have been incubated on AIC SME TBI, so how has the incubation center helped you? Because the foundation, I mean, the incubation center, the found AIC SME TBI has been led by uh, the CEO Dr. Tej, who has been doing marvelous good tasks. So, what do you have to say about that? The AIC is something. See, I'll tell you because I'm a hardcore artist. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. my designing background, all this thing. I'm a hardcore artist kind of person. Mm -hmm. So, whatever this. Business thing, you know, the the literature of business, mm -hmm. whole re revenue model, business model, whatever I learn from AIC, there's okay. no doubt about it. Mm -hmm. And these people are just a great help for mm -hmm. me 
but learning the, all the business ethics and how you got to do. Absolutely. Previously, it's, I, I was doing more like a traditional business. We are doing business, you know. Mm. You make a product, sell it in this day. It's, we, the business shouldn't be like that. There's a something, everything should be like yeah. a more... So you have basically understood the ABCs of entrepreneurship. Yeah, entrepreneurship. Yeah, that is the best. And I really thankful to this guy, especially Dr. Tej, but whole team of this thing. Yeah. And because of AIC, it's now it's very reachable when you talk about the main, mainstream investors mm -hmm. also. I did pitching two, three times also. Mm -hmm. It's good to learning because though we don't like crack the ground of like this investor, but, in, but it's very good platform for people like us to you connect know, and grow. connect the world thing see when you talk about this thing niti ayok it's very reachable through them it's very reachable now we have like if we have some problem like this thing you know we can talk directly that is mm, something absolutely. you know it's it, and it, also they are giving a lot of support when it comes to an entrepreneurship and startup so if, if you have any problem, you can always reach out to them. Yeah, you should be like this. Whosoever are like a start. And the startup, again, I wanted, Yogan, I wanted to add something. Yeah. See, that's like um, entrepreneurship is not an easy journey. Mm -hmm. You know, like even you also yeah. gone through whole thing, right? Yeah. So I can't just. Uh, so there, there's like, like uh, what I find is there's not a balancing, you know, the livelihood program. And the, this on uh, the start of uh, journey, mm -hmm. and uh, there's a bit, alike they slightly make a difference. So, alike they, alike they, in a different way, para hamila entrepreneurship, those who, those who are uh, like um, the what you call it, registered, junji, to mainstream, like pan India, ma register. It should be like a slightly different, like this thing, yeah. you know. Like so you're basically trying thing. to say there's a big difference between uh, livelihood and business and entrepreneurship. This is what you're trying to say. Yeah, the entrepreneurs. No, we should be like Ali ke hamro chini, but you can. Our idea should be appreciated. Like mm -hmm. I felt there's something we are not balancing out here. No, people are not understanding what is all about the startup. No, I guess I guess it's it's because I I truly get what you're saying, but it's because basically. Uh, in the state of Sikkim, this is the first generation entrepreneurs actually. Yeah, we are so, the first generation. Yeah. Maybe like so. it's con uh, tough convinced to people that still my mom yeah. say what you do. Yeah, that's what, so there, there should be a very defined uh, way of actually understanding entrepreneurship. Yeah. So mm -hmm. at least we are in the process and we are trying to understand what is entrepreneurship. So And th this AC people are helping us to build this ecosystem, mm -hmm. you know, True. so called ecosystem entrepreneurship. So. Who's like me? I just keep, like this thing. Who's I'm a young generation, by by me like just go and learn there, see how these people work, and mm -hmm. just sit with them, exchange your idea. How mm -hmm. they'll just give you a nice advice. Okay. Whatever. Like, okay. The, I wanted to ask a message, but you already said. <laughs> so, anyways, thank you, Chimi, for joining to the startup show. Thank you so much for having me, and it's a great play. Always great pleasure to talk with you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Anyways, so this is uh, Chimi Butia, uh, who is the founder of the two startups. One is uh, Lakta Studio. She has a website. We'll be keeping up the link up in the post. And also, she runs another startup called Cash, Cash Collective. So, Duitai startup ko, uh, main intention is to bring out this uh, sustainable lifestyle products in the market so that people can use that and people can be more conscious towards the environment. And this is a startup, so I want this conversation or the interview to be watched by potential people, investors, VCs, and angel investors. And I hope that this interview will definitely inspire and motivate you guys because we know that. That, you know, despite the fact why the entrepreneurship is a first generation, we are in the process to understand and create that ecosystem. So, thank you for joining into this conversation, and we hope that you can have an unemployment issue. So, as, as I would want to stress before I conclude this conversation, that entrepreneurship is the only solution actually to combat unemployment issues anywhere in the world anywhere in the country so thank you for watching this the startup show which is a presentation of aic sme tbi that is an atal incubation center sikki manipal university technology business incubation foundation uh, situated at mazita rampur thank you so much